model of the human cardiovascular system. Uh, we have um, implemented three models. Uh, those are overall circulation model by Guyton, uh, short-term human CVS model with pulsating heart, and long-term human CVS model with kidney regulation. After we implemented them, we created complex models into two complex models. First, aggregate models, model with pulsating heart with kidney regulation, and second, add to it a blood flow across arterial three vessels. All right, so let's get to the models. First is uh, the classic model by Professor Kaiten, overall circulation model. Uh, it's, it's, it's scheme. <coughs> As I said in my previous presentation, it was implemented, re-implemented in my lab simulation. And on the basis of those versions, we have created ours in BioMed, which is presented on this slide. Uh, it is cre was created as a modular model. Uh, here is the dynamics model, uh, heart rate model, blood flow oxygen, uh, oxy non-muscular oxygen, muscle blood flow, uh, kidney dynamics, and uh, red cell viscosity of blood. So those functional blocks are interconnected with appropriate connections. Uh, we, uh, here is the example of the kidney dynamics module. Uh, there are input parameters, output parameters, and some differential equations in between. Uh, <coughs> we have tested our model and compared uh, results with model limited in MATLAB. By uh, performing an experiment uh, um, from the original model with sodium intake, uh, total simulation time of the experiment is two weeks. So you can see this model uh, is focused on long term uh, parameters. Uh, and it operates with average parameters, not oscillating pressures or something like that. So next model is a uh, human series model with pulsating heart created by Solidenikov in 1994. Uh, model model represents human vascular system as a set of reservoir and blood circulating across them uh, under the uh, influence of pulsating heart. Uh, the reservoirs are the nose system, arterial system, and heart. <coughs> heart is modeled as pump switching between two uh, stages, systole and diastole, and the third is capillaries as buffer between arterial and renal system, and two main uh, regulation circuits, those are tissue metabolism, uh, utilizing oxygen depth conception, and neurohormonal control. Uh, as you can see, main parameters of model are blood flow, pressure, resistance, volume of reservoir, and no, and oxygen depth and zero flow control. And here are those parameters are passed from one model. For example, uh, blood flow is passed from heart to arterial system, then to capillary system, then to renal system, and uh, finally heart um, demands some blood flow from renal system. So this is cycle. Uh, model contains only uh, uh, systemic cycle and only left ventricle. So here is the uh, simulation results just to give an uh, example of what will work. As you can see, it contains frequent oscillating parameters with the period of heart cycle nearly half of a second. And here are blood flow from ventricle to arteries and blood flow through capillaries. Here are mean arterial pressure. So next model is uh, the human series model with kidney regulation created by first one. Uh, uh, it was based on the uh, model was created on the basis of series of preceding models starting from the classic model by Professor Guyton, but it was simplified and uh, focused on some uh, on kidney regulation. So here is the original scheme from the paper by first one with colleagues. As you can see, model uh, already is represented as models interconnected. So on, on the basis of this scheme, we created our version <coughs> of this model, which, create, which comprises six of the main modules, which are arterials, heart, hormonal system, nervous system, liquid control system, and of 
example, I'll show uh, how we can, uh, uh, by utilizing model approach, uh, for example, conduct experiments with this model. Here we can see parameter, which means sodium intake. And here it is test to the constant level. Uh, for example, we can remove this constant module and uh, replace it by mathematical model, which will dynamically vary uh, sodium intake during simulation. So we need uh, next step. We add special module for representation of parameter. In this case, mean arterial pressure on chart during simulation. Then we press start simulation button and obtain some simulation result in my unit. This is the same experiment that uh, I demonstrated uh, while talking about Professor Becky. And we have compared results of our model with uh, results from original paper of Carl Swann. Uh, here, red dots are experimental data, and uh, here are the results and results from original paper. Uh, now, uh, let's get to the mo models combination. At first, first is uh, easy step. We like to aggregate model for second half with kidney regulation model. Models utilize the same formula in the ODV discrete events, but different time scales, minutes and seconds. Uh, so, here are those models. Uh, first of all, uh, we will notice that those models uh, have several uh, similar functional blocks, arterial and heart. And uh, here are those modules. So we would like to remove heart and arterial modules from the kidney regulation model as they represent average parameters, while pulsating heart model represent parameter, uh, parameter values oscillating as heart beat. So we would like to remove those models. Uh, here are our model parameters, and just to explain what we will lose, what we will get by removing those modules. Uh, kidney regulation model has mean arterial pressure, arterial resistance, cardiac output, uh, blood volume, which is a mm, very important object of regulation in this model. Right atrium pressure and the vascularity, autonomous system effect, and the mean period pressure concept. In pulsating heart model, we have uh, oscillating arterial pressure, arterial resistance, uh, also oscillating cardiac output, blood volume, which is set to constant, and narrow tumor regulation. Uh, so, we take our kidney regulation model and remove uh, arterias and uh, heart models. Also, we add support for total blood volume, just uh, to send it back to the pulsating heart model. So, uh, we now we notice that the model now contains some open input ports which demands some parameters obtained from other models. Those parameters are average right atrial pressure, average arterial pressure, which ne uh, are needed to provide simulations of the rest of the model. However, our pulsating heart model doesn't contain right atrium, so we, or right ventricle, so we uh, need to add special module, which was extracted from the heart model regulation model uh, to obtain right atrial pressure from it, but it demands cardiac output. So now we changed interface of our model, and we need average cardiac output parameter. However, again, in a pulsating heart model, we have oscillating parameters, while here we are needed uh, in, uh, average parameters. So we add average model modules, which, which input is uh, oscillating parameters and output is a calculated move, moving average value during simulation. Uh, you'll notice that those models do not utilize uh, die the lens uh, formally. So now we are ready to uh, connect those models. And here it is done. Uh, here we may notice the three main connections between those ones, uh, which connects modules from one model to another. It's uh, cardiac output, uh, arterial pressure, and blood volume, which is 
divided into two connections just to uh, avoid edges intersection. Those, param uh, those variable elements are uh, associated with one uh, logical entity. So we have created first version of the complex module model. Next and hard step is to add to it a Terrell tree model. A Terrell tree model we have in position is the PTE model, partial differential equations, uh, which was created by our colleagues from Sobolev's Institute of Institute Mathematics. Um, and it comp uh, describes the system as a binary tree of 55 uh, largest pairs of the schema for uh, And it described with uh, a huge system of partial differential equations. Uh, it needs other conditions for correct work. Uh, we should set some values on the entrance of aorta, for example, incoming blood flow pressure, and output blood flow pressure or another uh, parameters on the last vessels, which do not be located between other vessels. Uh, in BioML, we <coughs> have implemented special graphic notation for this model and special algorithm for its simulation. So now we can uh, present it as a module in BioMed. Uh, here is the example of model works in this pressure profile on the entrance of aorta and the constant uh, pressure on the output of last vessel. A model can uh, produce, can demonstrate blood flow, pressures, areas, cross-section areas of each particular 55 uh, largest human arteries. So let's get back to our created complex model. We want to remove this arterial <coughs> system model <coughs> and uh, replace it with the arterial tree. First, we removed uh, to uh, for arterial tree model uh, to add uh, this place arterial tree model, we set boundary conditions to it. Uh, we set blood flow from the heart on the entrance of aorta and capillaries resistance and pressure on the <coughs> output of arterial tree. So we need those parameters for arterial tree uh, simulation and uh, we establish those connections. Uh, now we want to get some feedback from arterial tree. Uh, so we add to the model calculating, calculating of the average parameters total blood flow, integrated resistance, and so on, and pass them back. So we close our model. In fact, our model now looks the same as the previous version. However, this model now represents arterial tree with PDE system, with 55 arteries, not just a uh, OD system of new parameter. Uh, still, the, we can uh, take into account the trend of arteries 